3.4a, Equations with Decimals and Fractions. Decimals. When solving with decimals, the pattern of solving is the same. You will solve exactly how you solved with whole numbers. There is no difference. The only difference is that a calculator may be helpful to speed up the calculations in this problem. Example 1. In example 1, we start by solving exactly as we have done before. We put a dotted line to separate the two sides of the equation, and then we start solving. We do this by getting the x alone. Remember that you must subtract or add before multiplying and divide, which means we are going to subtract 7.11 from both sides. This means we will have 3.2x equals, you would type this into a calculator to find that it was 26.88. Next, you need to divide to get rid of the multiplication of the 3.2 times x. Therefore, you divide by 3.2. When doing so, 3.2 divided by 3.2 is 1x, which we write as x. You then type in negative 26.88 divided by 3.2, and you will result in negative 8.4. The only time you will be asked to do this type of calculation is if you are allowed to use a calculator. Example 2 is very similar to example 1 in that you are also treated exactly as you treated the other equations. Just as with whole numbers, you must always distribute and combine like terms before you may solve a problem. Therefore, you must distribute 2.1 to both of the terms inside. This means you will be getting 2.1x minus 2.1 times negative 4.3, which results in 9.03, equals 5.7x minus 9.19 minus 3.8x. Remember, a dotted line for the equal sign helps to keep you organized. Next, you may combine like terms if they occur on the same side. On the left side, there are no like terms. On the right side, there are two terms which contain an x. This means that on the left side, no, no terms may be combined. On the right side, however, you can calculate 5.7x minus 3.8, which will give you 1.9x. The 9.19 does not change. Next, you must get all of the x values on one side, just as we did with whole numbers. To do so, you move the smaller of the two x's. In this case, it would be the 1.9. We move it by doing its opposite and subtracting 1.9x from both sides. This results in 0.2x minus 9.03 equals negative 9.19. Next, you will be needing to get x alone, which remember when solving an equation, you do order of operations backwards, which means you need to do your adding and subtracting first. So you add 9.03 to both sides. This results in 0.2x equals negative 9.19 plus 9.03. 03, which results in negative 0 0.16. Next, you will need to divide to get rid of the multiplication of the 0 0.2. You divide both sides by 0 0.2, which results in x equals a negative 0 0.8. Remember, this type of calculation will only be required if you are allowed to use a calculator. The other thing to remember is that you will solve it exactly like the equations with whole numbers by first distributing and combining like terms, 
and then solving the equation.